Okay, here is an ICOM IC551D, which is a six meter transceiver. And uh, it's got some issues also. Uh, let me show you, I have audio. Um, I haven't looked, but it may, it may not have an internal speaker. Uh, I just plugged in an external. And it's got audio. You can change the uh, modes. A little scratchy, but no tuning. Can't change frequency, it's not locked. Down is to lock the VFO, that's not locked. So something's going on there. Maybe that circuit's its actual circuit is uh, having some problems. So we'll see. I'm gonna open it up and see what's going on. Okay, uh, having it open, well, you can see the FM unit is not installed in this. But uh, also, the first things I noticed here is see the units on that um, this is how tuning works in this in this rig looks like it uses um, two LEDs and two um, it be photo resistors and then there's slots on this on the disc here you can see with this terrible lighting oh this is terrible you can see that disc with the slots. Okay, it's letting light through the slots as they as they turn. It's letting it through at different times, and that's how it knows which direction you're turning the VFO. But those don't appear to be lit. Let's see, when I take the light off, I would think they're probably visible light LEDs. They're not lit, so. I'm going to look into that a little bit. Okay, so I was just playing around with this and watch this. So a bad connection in there. See that? Now if I put my finger on there, it tunes. So, we'll have to see. Maybe there's uh, some corrosion, it's not getting a good ground. It's probably what it is, so we'll, I'll uh, see if I can't clean that up. Here's the problem. Broken solder joint right there. See that? Should be a pretty easy fix. Okay, have it re-soldered in. Um, I don't know, the LED, they're still crooked but can't really go in much more see one of them's almost touching the disc and the other one's a little bit out but the tuning is uh, working so you can see how it flashes so it flashes one of those first and then the other one next and that's how it that's how it knows which way you're turning the dial and it's working now as you can see. Alright, let's go back over and see if we can receive anything. Oh, and there's a reason why the internal speaker doesn't work. Wires are cut. So we we'll have to deal with that problem in a little bit. Okay, it is receiving, but there's nothing on six meters right now. So what I did is I disconnected the antenna from here and um, I tuned up all my uh, DX commander with the FTDX10 running just five watts. And we'll see if um, see if some audio comes through. It's gonna probably overload somewhat, but we'll see if we can hear me. And zeros that I'd be testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and zeros. And I be testing one, two, three. Looks to me like it's receiving. Uh, I'm sure more stations on yet. I made a great six meter opening a couple days ago, and maybe it'll be 
going well again today. And we'll see, but um, let me try, this will be try AM, like, why not, right? Zeros that I'd be testing. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, testing one, two, three, and zeros that I'd be testing. Alright, so it works. Well, it receives. I don't know about transmit. I don't have the right uh, power cable. I'll have to figure out where the power cable went for this. Uh, right now I'm just running on jumper leads and I don't think they're going to be able to handle the current, so I'm not going to transmit. But it's receiving. Um, the meter's working. It's tuning. I can tune in bigger increments. Uh, one thing that's weird is the uh, RIT stays on. This switch isn't even acting like a switch. It's just rubbery. It doesn't go down, doesn't stay down, and RIT stays on, so that's weird, but uh, I still have to figure out the speaker, but for now it's, I might do a, another video in the future, but for now it's receiving and tuning, so I'm kind of happy with that. 